Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the first vlog back at home since travel. Of course, we did the Q&A and we filmed that at the house, but this is the first like vlog coming home from our vacation, which was so lovely. I'm also so glad you guys loved that vlog. It was really fun to film and just the difference in scenery and apple picking and taking Liam to all those first was just so much fun. And honestly, guys, I was so emotional and so teary eyed like so many times during that vacation because growing up in the north and then just seeing your child like live his best life and do all the things that you used to do as a child just seeing him experience that and love every moment and soak in the leaves like he's now obsessed with leaves and just because of the fall colors and everything but just the travel experience was so so refreshing and lovely and we had the best time so I'm really glad you guys enjoyed that vlog too but we are back home now so we are on track with getting ourselves organized so in today's vlog we're gonna have some updates I need to do a grocery order a fridge restock catch up on some laundry like just those typical things that you do when you come back from a vacation. And speaking of travel and just that time of year, I wanted to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Well Life. Well Life is a flu test and more. Now, Well Life is an easy at home test kit that tests for flu A, B, as well as COVID, which makes it super easy and functional for you to do at home. Now, rewind a few months ago when Larry and I went <laughs> to Universal, we came home and then quickly after that, we all got sick and we didn't know what was going on quite yet and then we ended up going in and finding out that we all had COVID plus Liam had COVID and RSV and it was just so much and it would have been so nice to be able to test at home and find out as soon as symptoms were starting especially with having a two-year-old and just the convenience of being able to test at home and find out immediately would have been so nice. Well Life's product can test for flu A and B as well as COVID. Adding functionality and convenience for all of us at home. Results are available in just 10 minutes using a non-intrusive, easy to perform nasal swab. I'm gonna show you guys everything that comes in your kit. So this is what the box looks like. Inside your box, you get two tests along with the nasal swabs. Here is what the test looks like. So Well Life tests have an easy to read results with a large, highly visible results window. So this is what your at home test will look like. Well Life also comes with like very easy at home to read instructions on how to do your at home tests. So if you guys have any upcoming travel plans like we do, we have post traveled, we have upcoming travel plans and it's just tis the season at that time of year, honestly. If you guys are interested in ordering your own at home test kits from Well life i definitely recommend they have given me a link and a code to share with you guys so if you're interested check out the description box down below and well life thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video all right guys let's rewind to our cozy morning this morning and then roll on with some updates as well as getting into the rest of the vlog while on vacation you guys know that I was talking about being out of breath we already know like I've had low iron levels in the past while on vacation in Illinois and also I forgot to tell you guys where we actually went and I didn't put it in the title so we went to Illinois but anyways while I was there I got some of my results for my lab test I had labs done and we were concerned about my iron levels because it was a concern but not until later in my pregnancy with Liam I was in my third trimester before I had iron issues my iron dropped and I had to have iron and fusions. So we were on high alert this time and I'm having similar symptoms where I'm just like so out of breath. My arms feel super heavy and weighted. My legs feel weighted. Like I'm getting constant headaches, which also can be an all the time thing anyway. So it's kind of confusing, but we were on the alert. So we decided to check my iron. I did get the call that my iron is low. And of course, um, they are sending me out to oncology to speak with the doctor to put a plan in place. Now I know a lot of people think oncologists, they think cancer, and I know when I went last time it was a cancer center and a lot of you guys were really concerned and were asking if I had cancer. I do not, not that I know of. 
hopefully not, um, but that is just where you go to get the iron infusions as well. So I do have that upcoming appointment. I'm not surprised, kind of bummed. It might be like a three day a week thing where I go and sit for like an hour infusion, but honestly, it'll all be worth it if I can feel the difference in the change in my body because it's just been a bit of a struggle <laughs> as of lately, but um, I will keep you guys posted there, but I did want to update you on that because I know a lot of you guys have been asking and everything so the headaches are still ongoing and still definitely a thing and I did call my doctor so we are um, exploring things there they sent me a different medication to take um, for my headaches because I'm getting very very bad 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 headaches I'm really hoping it's all down to the iron causing the issue but I was so relieved guys when my three-day migraine went away and then I got slammed with these headaches. And literally imagine you go outside and you've slammed your head on concrete, which I know most of us don't do, but like say you hit your head really, really hard and you just have like this throbbing, pounding headache where it's like deep into your eyes and it's just hard to function. I honestly am not functioning well daily. Like my day-to-day -day life is being affected. And that's when I was like, right, I just need to call. You guys were like, Mindy, just call. Cause I opened up about this on Instagram if you follow over there. So many of you in my DMs were like, just like, you need to call, you need to say something just in case it's something more. So of course, I also have a CT scan ordered. My OB, the doctor who delivered Liam, is very aware of like my past with having a pituitary adenoma, like all this other thing, whatever, the headaches, the migraines, all the things. And they're like, right, I think it's time you need to go have a CT scan just to make sure. And of course I was nervous to do that. I feel like I'm rattling at hundred miles per hour. Just need to take a deep breath. I feel like I'm just trying to catch you guys up on everything that's going on, which is a lot. And it's like slightly overwhelming, which is probably why I'm talking so fast. But um, you're just like, right, we need to send you for the CT scan. Let's just make sure. And of course, I was like doing my research with getting a CT scan while pregnant. And obviously, he wouldn't have recommended it if he didn't find it necessary. And, you know, there's not supposed to be any risk to baby with getting a CT scan of the brain of your head while pregnant. So, but of course I'm still nervous. Like any mom would be that is pregnant. <sighs> Anyways, I just feel like there's so much going on. So that is like the current, like pregnancy related things that are going on. And I am going to be 16 weeks tomorrow. How crazy is that guys? That is wild. Um, anyways, now let's jump topics really quick to books and you guys asking about book club, what's going on with the book club, what happened with the book club. And I talked about this briefly in the Q and a, nothing exactly happened. It was more so like I am in a massive reading slump, but I did just pick up a new book and I showed you guys a couple new books that I picked up previously, which was this one. And a lot of you said actually November would be a really fun time to read this book as well. I will list it down below. I have a Pinterest account and this book has been in my Pinterest since late summer. Actually, this one has the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. And I was on the hunt for the Pumpkin Spice Cafe book and couldn't find it anywhere until yesterday. I found it and I grabbed it and it was actually in the children's section all by itself. Like somebody picked it up and set it back next to like the toddler books. And I was like, there's my book. So I grabbed it. So I think I'll read this one first because it's pumpkin spice and hello, we're almost through October already. I think there's only like a few days left till Halloween, which is nuts. So like October is dwindling down. So I really want to get motivated into reading this, but guys like these had sorry to complain about it but like it's so bad and like this is the last thing that I'm thinking about doing when I crawl in bed at night when I crawl in bed at night I'm cozied up in a ball with these ice packs over my head which are oh, I just bumped the camera sorry which has been such a lifesaver these are linked down below in case you guys are interested they're like these weighted gel they're like weighted in a pressure good way where it like tensely wraps your hug in like this icy cold hold which is so good Sometimes it's super intense though. And I have to like stick my fingers right here to like cover this area when I first put the mask on because it's so sensitive. But anyways, rewinding, very excited about these books. Also the illustration, like the covers of them are just so beautiful. So perfect for fall. So I'm gonna give those a read. Also, I'm kind of mad at Florida <laughs> right now guys, because what the heck, we are 89 degrees today. We had a cold front for like two days post coming back and then it just 
it was chilly and now we're right back to our hot and toasty warmy. Anyways, let me be done chatting at you guys at 100 miles per hour and just let's flow through whatever we get up to for the rest of this day. Grocery restock post vacation. So we're just gonna go through it all. All right, for starters, we have our 2% milk. The lightly salted potato chips were buy one, get one free. So we ended up getting four bags of those. We have the apple cinnamon crisps, the lightly salted tortilla chips, the pasture raised eggs. These are by, is it Vital Farms or Vital? It's probably Vital. Vital Farms. Larry's French Toast Sticks. We have honey ham. These are so good. These are the Just Bear Lightly Breaded Chicken Breast Strips. No antibiotics, no horm hormones, no steroids, no artificial ingredients, and no preservatives. Very yummy. We have Parmesan shredded cheese. I have been inspired by the peppermint mocha. So I found the peppermint mocha Starbucks creamer. I wish this was the one, the non-dairy, but they didn't have it. So this is kind of going to be a test to see if I'll be able to handle the creamer. And then we have my favorite Rayos marinara sauce. This is a whim buy. So I actually purchased this with the last hurricane, Hurricane Milton. It's the beef ravioli. <laughs> It was like, I was trying to find food just in case we had no power and stuff like that. And this was what was left. And I had one of them. I was like, oh, it's kind of good, quick and easy. I mean, we all know ravioli and I know it's in a can and it's like, wow, but guys, it was kind of good and I liked it. So I got a couple of them for hurricane prep or if I'm just feeling some ravioli. So we also have this, which has been really helpful for when I feel really nauseous, don't feel like eating anything at all. This has been nice. Some jarred mushrooms, Alfredo. I wanted the regular pierogies, like the potato and onion, but they didn't have any, so we substituted the loaded baked potato, which I have never had before. Larry's Vermont maple sausage. These smell so sweet and yummy. Whipped cream for fruit and coffees and Larry's hot chocolates. I also spiced things up and got really extra and got these tiny little mini marshmallows again for, I think I've just been inspired by the cold weather. So we have those. Liam's diced peaches and 100% juice. This is the only cottage cheese that I can have that does not make me sick. This is the lactose free cottage cheese. So I got two of those because these containers are kind of small. Um, we have hearts of romaine, some American, sour cream, chicken, buffalo chicken dip, five Honeycrisp apples, bananas, lean ground beef. I'm making tacos tonight and Larry's gonna have chili. Green onions, I actually prefer green onions over regular onions now, especially in like chilies and taco and just like soups. It's just, green onion is so good. It's such a nice, refreshing, fresh flavor. Then we have two avocados, blueberries, strawberries, the sugar bomb tomatoes, the less sugar ripe strawberry Chobani yogurt. Liam loves this. He also loves the less sugar cinnamon vanilla yogurt. And he'll also do like plain yogurt, plain whole milk yogurt with just honey added to it too. So, but he is in a yogurt phase. He loves yogurt. We have cilantro for tacos tonight, classic caraway salt and caraway seed sauerkraut bread and spinach and that is the entire haul oh no it's not i forgot the lemons we got a pack of lemons gosh this is what happens when you don't fold your clothes right away liam you get very wrinkled clothes Mommy accidentally deleted footage. She wasn't supposed to delete, Liam. Did you drop it? You dropped it down there. We might not get it. We might need daddy's help. What'd you put it down there for? Here it is. Mad, I 
You got a dolphin. Dada. Yeah, let me wash my hands and I'll be ready to mess with you. Dada. Look out, look out. Woo! You okay, buddy? You landed on your airbag, didn't you? Good job. Ah! Oh. ah. I made tacos tonight for dinner for myself and then Larry is having some chili with corn and Liam has a deconstructed taco with some apples and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Just added some pickled onions on the side which I've actually never had with tacos or really with anything, but I'm gonna give them a try. It does specifically say for tacos on here, which gave me the idea. It is Hell's Kitchen time.